from Kinesplover.com. We've been hearing a lot about NFC, smart tags, tech tiles and the ilk in the last few years. So in this video, let's go ahead and take a closer look at what NFC means for an Android user. Uh, what you can do with these uh, NFC tags and uh, how, how you can use it to make your day-to-day -day, uh, tasks easier with your Android devices. Because most of the latest Android devices have NFC, right from the Nexus 7 to the Galaxy S3, Nexus 4, One X, Note 2, anything that's been released in the past uh, few months, any top-end device comes with NFC. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what NFC is and how it can actually be useful for you. And in the later part of this video, we'll also see the compatibility issues that arise between various NFC tags that are found in the market today and uh, take a look at why these uh, compatibility issues arise. And also, what kind of uh, NFC tags do you need to do you need to buy, depending on what it what it is that you wanna go ahead and do with it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Wikipedia defines NFC as a set of standards for smartphones and similar devices to establish radio communication with each other by touching them together or bringing them into close proximity, usually no more than a few centimeters. So guys, we have two phones here: the HTC One X and the Galaxy S3. Now say for example, I want to send the link for cursedforward.com from the Galaxy S3 to the HTC One X. All I need to do is put these phones together and hit touch to beam. And there you see cursedforward.com loads up on the HTC One X. So again, I chose the One X and the S3 just to show you guys that it is not, uh, a manufa it is not manufacturer dependent. Any phone that has an FC, you can put, put them together and it will work. It's universal so don't worry about that. With NFC and Bluetooth both being short-range communication technologies, a common question is why NFC over Bluetooth? After all, NFC is slower and has a shorter range than Bluetooth. Well, the shorter range in itself works as an advantage for NFC. Having a short range reduces the chances of transactions being intercepted and removes the need to pair devices. NFC has a very low power requirement. Try using your phone with and without NFC for a day each. You may not even notice a difference. It is also real quick and a connection can be established in less than a tenth of a second. NFC is also compatible with passive RFID infrastructures and that is where the NFC tags come into play. The tags that I use in this video are the MyFire Classic 1K. They have about 700 bits of usable data. and. Uh, you can just peel them off and stick them onto almost any surface you want. Alright, they're circular. Okay, uh, I have a few uses for this. I've got one stuck on my uh, door. Alright, so I've got a tag that I've programmed similar to that. So what this one does is, as you can see right now, I'm in my house and I have Wi-Fi turned on. I don't have my 3G on and I don't have my Bluetooth on. I don't have a SIM card in this so 3G doesn't work but nonetheless. This is, these are my settings when I'm at home. So when I leave the house, I'm just going to go ahead and put it over here. And there you see, it goes to my out profile, which means my Wi-Fi gets turned off, my Bluetooth and mobile data gets turned on. And on my way back, I'm just going to go ahead and tap my phone again. And it says in. And now my Wi-Fi is turned on, my Bluetooth and mobile data are turned off. Similarly, I also have another tag, which I use on my night table. I just put my phone on it and it goes to my goodnight profile wherein it's set to vibrate and uh, notification uh, notification and uh, ringtones are cut alright so just going into sound over here and uh, volume and there you see ringtone and notifications have been taken to zero alright so now you can just leave it lying on it and that's not a problem and now if, uh, in the morning I just put it on it again ringtones and notifications are back up to full so how do we go ahead and uh, program these uh, NFC tags? Let me show you that. Guys, there are quite a few applications on the Play Store uh, that let you do this. The best one that I've, uh, I've found, the one that works the best for me, is the NFC ta Task Launcher. So this is what I've used to program these. So over here, just uh, tap the plus over here, and you get an option to create either a new task or a new switch, or you can write, write basic tags, or import a task as well. So a switch is what I showed you guys, as in you tap it once, uh, you put the phone over the NFC tag once and it does a certain action, and you put it over it again and it does a different action again. All right, so that is a switch and a task does just does that one action. All right, so let's program a new task. All right, let's make it test. 
add actions and let's make sure that the phone uh, guys another good thing is that it works with Tasker as well I don't have Tasker on this phone but if you guys do uh, I just want to let you know it works with Tasker as well alright so uh, let's uh, launch an application open application next and let's launch the camera okay save and write once you hit save and write just put uh, a tag right behind and it says success tag written successfully over here guys if you wanna go ahead and if you're gonna give a tag to somebody you've got your contact details on it and you wanna give it to someone you wanna make sure that they don't go ahead and rewrite the tag so for that you can select make tag read only in which case you cannot uh, you cannot delete your tag you cannot rewrite or overwrite over it anymore so just letting you guys know I'm gonna hit done here and go back to the home screen so now again putting the phone over the tag my camera is up at this point let me show you how the NFC tag works with different devices so this is the HTC One X which is obviously made by HTC and not Samsung which means uh, the camera app on this is different so putting the HTC One X over this does nothing alright it just takes you to the Play Store and it says item not found because the camera app used in the Galaxy S3 is not available there but then again if you use a uh, Galaxy Note 2 which has the same camera app put it over here and the camera launches but then again for uh, normal stuff just profiles and so on like uh, this one even if you use it with, a, with an HTC device there it goes to out alright so you've got Bluetooth on you've got mobile uh, mobile network on Wi-Fi off now again just going back there you see you've got Wi-Fi on off Bluetooth off mobile networks off so doing it again just going back out coming into settings again there you see Wi-Fi on I mean Wi-Fi off, Bluetooth on, mobile network on. But guys, the phones that you use it with uh, need to have an FC Task Launcher installed. If they don't, uh, I've just uninstalled an FC Task Launcher on my Galaxy Note 2. And you try to put it over an FC Tag, it'll just take you to the Play Store and uh, ask you to download an FC Task Launcher. So guys, let's go a little further into the NFC Task Launcher, launcher app here. So there are a lot of things that we can do. And even if you do not have an NFC Tag today, this app helps you to actually find out what NFC tag you need to buy. Say for example, if you want to know how much data I needed to do my, uh, you know, the tag that I have in and out to turn on my Wi-Fi, uh, turn off 3G and Bluetooth and uh, vice versa. For that, you go in, you can see that enabling Wi-Fi takes 4 bytes, disabling Bluetooth takes 4 bytes, disabling mobile data takes 4 bytes, but all 3 actions together takes about 80 bytes. Alright, and again, out that takes another 81 bytes so I need 161 bytes uh, minimum for me to be able to uh, use my NFC uh, NFC tag as a switch so uh, it differs from uh, from action to action for some things like business cards when you, especially when you have a contact picture on it uh, it takes a lot of space so guys here you see an option also to write basic tags so uh, to write basic tags, tags, you need the NFC Writer app and that's again free, you can just go ahead and download it. Uh, but with basic tags, you can write web addresses, Foursquare venue, address book contacts, additional tag types, uh, which include text, phone number, email, and so on. All right, uh, say for example, I'm just gonna write cursepower.com over here on this tag. All right, done. So I just showed you guys that my Galaxy Note 2 does not have the NFC uh, uh, Task Launcher app on it. But right now, no matter what uh, device I use, I just go ahead and hit it. It gets an option to open. Just open it up. And there you have CurseForward.com. So NFC tags, uh, the uh, writing the basic tags, it's just basic stuff that you write that other people do not have to have the NFC Task Launcher app to open up. Alright guys, now moving on to incompatibilities. The MyFire Classic is the, is the most used kind of NFC tag today. 
this is the most popular one that a lot of people use because it's cheaper than other tags uh, and it works with almost every device but with the release of the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 uh, people started experiencing issues with the MyFire Classic the MyFire Classic is produced by NXP NXP is a co-inventor of NFC and a major supplier of NFC chipsets for smartphones the MyFire Classic NFC tags do not adhere to the NFC forum standards Therefore, they can only be used with the NXP's NFC chipset. But since most phones use the NXP chipset, this was not a problem. The MyFire tags were so widely adopted that even Samsung decided to use the My MyFire Classic chip on their Samsung Tectiles NFC tags. The Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10, which is actually manufactured by Samsung, use Broadcom's NFC chipset instead of NXP's. Commonly used MyFire Classic NFC tags are thus not fully compatible with them. You can still use the MyFire Classic tags with the Nexus 4 or Nexus 10 and trigger events using the tag's unique UID code. I don't want to get too theoretical here, so if you want to read up more on this, a link to this page is there in the description. Check it out. So what NFC chips should you buy? First off, open up NFC Task Launcher, go ahead, figure out what you want to actually do with your NFC chips and go ahead and check out how many bytes you need. All right, and my suggestion is if you use any device, of, uh, if you use any Android device apart from the uh, Nexus 4 or the Nexus 10, then you can stick to the MyFire Classic chips. The 1K gives you about 700 bytes. The 4K gives you about 3,500 bytes. The MyFire 1K costing about uh, $12.50 for a, for a pack of 10, and the MyFire Classic 4K costing about $18 for a pack of 10. On the other hand, the uh, NFC forum compliant tags uh, like the NTAC203 costs roughly the same, about uh, $15-$17 uh, for a pack of 10. The difference being where the MyFire Classic 1K gives you 700 bytes of space to use, the NTAC203 or any NFC forum compliant tags will give you about 144 bytes. So and listen until you're using a Nexus 4 or a Nexus 10 or any other device that does not use an NXP uh, chipset for NFC. It's not worth buying a, a NFC forum compliant tag. So you can stick to the MyFire Classic ones. So that's pretty much it guys for NFC. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you feel I've left something out, again let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you guys want to stay updated on the latest updates, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Again all the contact details are in the description. If you need any technical help with your Galaxy Note, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, Nexus 4 or any of the devices that I have you can hit, hit us up at Cusforva forums that's cusforva.com slash forums for the full written article about NFC you can head on over to cusforva.com the link is in the description again so before you go guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons please do stay, stay subscribed uh, and uh, thanks a lot for watching and any of these tags if you want to buy them the links are again in the description, direct links to Amazon. Uh, and for people watching from India, we are trying to get uh, NFC tags stocked on our uh, eBay store. So uh, again, this link to uh, Cusperva store on eBay is in the description. So uh, check it out. We will get it stocked as soon as possible. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, stay subscribed. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. This is Ash from Cusperva.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.